The next type of operator is called the assignment operator. These do exactly what they say. They assign a value to a variable, and we've already used two of them quite often. We've used the is assigned the value of operator designated by the equal sign, and we've used the concatenation operator when we've been constructing SQL statements in PHP. There are some others. Plus equals has the effect of incrementing the variable by the value on the right hand side of the operator. So it's the same as saying make x equal to the old value of x plus y. So x plus equals y makes x equal to the old value of x plus y. x minus equals y means that x is decremented by y. In other words, x takes on the old value of x minus the value of y. Similarly, times equals x is multiplied by y, so it has the same effect as x equals x times y. Divided by equals, similarly, concatenation we've dealt with, x percent equals y means x takes on the value of x mod y. In other words, the remainder when x is divided by y. So for example, $x plus equals 3, when x was previously 4, makes x take on the value of 7. If we start with x equals 9, and we execute the statement x percent equals 7, x now takes on the value of what x used to be, 9, modulo 7. In other words, the remainder when 9 is divided by 7. Concatenation works in a strange way for numbers. It simply concatenates them as though they were text. So x dot equals 7, when x had the value of 3, doesn't add 7 and 3. It actually concatenates the two numbers as though they were text. So x now takes on the value of 37. So you can see that this is more often used with text values rather than number values. Just like we did before, I've prepared a script in the snippets for you to study these assignment operators. First of all, create a new code pane, an untitled code pane, and paste the assignment operators script into this. Sweep over the file name, copy it with Control C, click Save. Make sure you're going to save it in the demo directory. Paste the file name with Control V into the name and click Save. Go to our browser, open up the index of folder demo, and here's the new file, PHP Operators ASIG. Click on that to run the script. One of the things you should notice in the code here, if we go back to Bluefish, that the dollar sign, when I'm echoing this code, dollar signs and quote marks that I want to actually appear on the browser page are escaped. Escaping a character means you put a backslash in front of it. So that backslash dollar sign means that the dollar sign will actually appear on the browser rather than be interpreted at the start of a variable. So once again, we have a number of code snippets within this snippet echoing out the actual code as it would appear in our PHP file and a result that's generated from the code. So in this example, we're using a demonstration of the multiplied equal sign. We've set variable x equal to 3 and variable y equal to 4, and then set y equal to multiplication equals, star equals, which sets y equal to the old value of y multiplied by the value of x, in other words, 12. So we get result equals concatenated with the value of result so it echoes out result equals 12. The concatenation operators are also demonstrated in this script. Firstly, for strings, which we're very familiar with, first part, second part, result equals y, but y is equal to the old value of y concatenated with x. So it's equal to the value of y, second part, with the value of x, 
tacked onto the end of it. That's why we get result equals second part first part. With numbers, immediately when you use the concatenation operator, it treats these numbers as though they were text. So we get 8.6, which was the old value of y, with 7.3, the value of x, concatenated onto the end of it.